things, that doesn't look good. Things are not, whoa, yeah, things are not looking good. <laughs> Market well, September share. September is looking really bad. <laughs> and then our comedic value is dropping. Really? I worked really hard on this. Uh, and I'm not just looking at it right now for the first time. How are, how are we selling the items that we already have? Is it, um, is it just word of mouth? Right now it's word of mouth. Hmm. I, I might need a marketing team. These people, I, I'm, I'm embarrassed. I'm really embarrassed to be here. I mean, you know, where I come from, officer basketball is taken seriously. It is the most important thing that's going on. I like the new kitties. He's got a, he's got the right attitude. I'm terrified. Um, I've started carrying a knife. Um, I can't sleep at night. Uh, I, I have tremors. Uh, the new kid is absolutely terrifying. So we've got our, our little little pick and roll pick and roll set here, uh -huh. and uh, we have offensive player comes right up in here, and now say so th Wait, this is a who's classic. The, who's the plus sign? There's no plus sign. <laughs> now we'll look at a little set that uh, that uh, flying squirrels <laughs> likes to run. They really like to get. Oh. They really like to get a player behind the basket, player off the side. Mm-hmm. Defense there, you got your O's there, you got your defense here, and then tic tac toe. It's a good play, it's a good play. See, see. Uh, Some games turn into real chess matches out there. All right, we are coming up on the workspace here of Sean Danger Morris. Uh, not quite sure why we call call him Danger. Uh, actually, I do know why he's called Danger. Uh, it's a corruption of the French danger. Oh. It actually has nothing to do with the, uh, with the English word pertaining to uh, hazards. So I've uh, caught up here with Katie Gann. She's back in Cambridge. We're in her old office. and My office. Some rumors flying around Cambridge. I know you haven't been here to hear them, but um, oh, I hear that your team is going to be called uh, Occupy Right Under the Basket. Uh, <laughs> okay, so your name is the windmill. Much my only strategy, which is to. Windmill my arms. I find it very effective. Locker room gossip. Oh, locker room gossip. Well... Slash secrets slash embarrassing moments. Mm. Well, I mean, I haven't found the showers yet, <laughs> so... <laughs> Have you ever scored in an Athnet game? <laughs> <laughs> what other players just stink? Oh, flying squirrels. <laughs> Without a doubt. Mm -hmm. They dope. We all know they dope. Right. They're unnaturally good. Right. Yeah, There's been I mean, a lot in the papers about that. They're they're cheaters. They lie. Any reason they, they might need to be split up or kicked out of the league entirely. Uh, there he is. Oh. Arthur, hey, Arthur, we'd, we'd like to ask you for any reason. Don't you say, say that you'll take it. Who's the best player? You had your championship, but you got you owe it to me to tell us. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Here with the commish, uh, he's granted an interview at Underground. So what's your general approach to, to managing the league? Really just anything that's kind of funny. Um, is the league a non-profit? Well, it's non-profitable. Would you consider this to be your life's work, or is this just another another stop in the road? It's definitely like a speed bump. Mm -hmm. So, so where are you going next? Um, Get over this. Well, speed. I'd like to have basketball in space. Seriously, though, the the aliens in Space Jam, I think we could take that with maybe an all-star 
version of our app net. I have a Cold War reenactment society that I run in my town, Sharon. Yeah. And uh, it's pretty exciting, actually. And, well, it's usually just, it's pretty quiet, but <laughs> it's, I don't know. I think it's a very underrated war, the Cold War. The Cold War? Since then, science education has never been the same. Right, yeah. right. I think it was good for NASA, as if we can bring it back to that. I think our, we'd be playing basketball in space at this point if... The Cold War never ended. We could play basketball in space. I think that's, that's one way to sum up this league, in fact. Uh, just how he's having that. Just like a scribble. What's Usher like? <laughs> um, yeah, oh, he thanks. cool, man. He cool. Yeah. He, the best thing ever. He, he like put me where I am today and like, oh man. How'd you get into office chair basketball? Well, you know, I um, play hoops a lot with my, with my boys at home, so, you know. Right. In chairs or? In, uh, yeah. I mean, when you compare your Andrew. Yes, indeed. Thanks for coming by. Uh, thank you for having me. Uh, uh, if I find out working here, will, uh, will I be provided with a chair like this one or uh, is there? Maybe seeing you react to some general sports clips, uh, that could help us decide. Okay. And, uh, okay, it looks like we've got some people in, uh, yellow and, uh, and blue. Now you have done some commentating for basketball. Yes, basketball. yes, I, I was the commentator uh, for the Missouri Admirals. We do one more segment here. Okay. He actually is an amazing, uh, amazing player, as you can tell, in large part due to his height. But he appears to have gotten himself into a three-on-one situation with a couple of the uh, uh, forwards from the other team. He's been pretty strong on, on the defense, but this is a pretty sticky situation. Uh, where is the ref on this? That is pretty clearly a, uh, a technical foul. Uh, we, we rarely have seen something like that would go on called. Uh, I, I think we'll agree, although gruesome, one of, the, one of the better executed plays that we've seen out of the league this season. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got started in basketball? When envisioning our team, we really felt like we would be bringing something very special to the league. And, uh, what would that be? The voice of God, oh. in essence. Uh, We've heard that after, after games, you, you know, after a loss especially, you would switch allegiance to mm. various gods. Well, if one isn't working out, I'd like to move on to the next. Mm -hmm. uh, would would you say that you like to be able to fire gods? <laughs> We can put it that way, certainly. Just to be clear, I'm from Pakistan, um, which is a country. Is it though? Yeah. <laughs> Do one more segment here. Okay. <laughs> about people downloading your music. Well, you know, like, I feel like that's just, you know, just like spreads the love, you know. I, I, I feel like I feel like it's okay. Like, if they want, if, I, I'm making, I'm making mad money anyway, so it's all right. It's a shoe. I don't know what that's doing there. Uh, I love returning after a hard day to sort of the order and the stability of uh, a well-kept home. Hey kids, I'm home! Yay! Oh, oh, daddy no. home! Daddy home! Daddy home! Poopy's in my diaper! Oh, <laughs>